Kevin Spacey has been accused of UAL misconduct by 20 more people, as recently as 2013. The Old Vic in London has said it has received 20 personal testimonies of inappropriate behavior committed by the Hollywood star while he was artistic director at the theatre. Spacey has been accused of multiple incidents of inappropriate UAL behavior since Star Trek actor Anthony Rapp said last month that he made UAL advances on him when Rapp was 14. The Old Vic said, cult of personality, existed around Spacey during his nine years as director, adding that his status had stopped people, especially junior staff and actors, from coming forward, according to The Guardian. It opened the investigation following a of allegations against the actor, including testimony from Mexican actor Rob Cavazos, who worked with Spacey at The Old Vic. Cavazos alleged that Spacey approached him in unpleasant encounters which he said he would have termed harassment if he were a woman. He said the American beauty actor was commonly found at the theater bar, squeezing whoever caught his attention. Cavazos, who has been in Russian Doctor Who, said at the time, There are many of us who have a Kevin Spacey story. It seems that it only took a male under 30 to make Mr. Spacey feel free to touch us. It was so common that it even became a local joke and very bad taste. In a statement, the old Vic said, despite having the appropriate escalation processes in place, it was claimed that those affected felt unable to raise concerns and that Kevin Spacey operated without sufficient accountability. This is clearly unacceptable and the old Vic truly apologizes for not creating an environment or culture where people felt able to speak freely. The old Vic's chairman Nick Clary apologized to all those people who felt unable to speak up at the time. He continued, inappropriate behavior by anyone working at the Old Vic is completely unacceptable. We will foster a safe and supportive environment without prejudice, harassment or bullying of any sort, at any level, he pledged. The investigation showed that in all but one case, people who accused Spacey had not made a formal complaint. Every incident in the report is alleged to have taken place before 2009, apart from two. The theater added that, no legal claims, formal grievances, formal disputes, settlement agreements or payments made or authorized were made at all in relation to Kevin Spacey during his tenure. The Old Vic's current artistic director, Matthew Warchus, said, I have genuine and deep sympathy for all those who have come forward and said they were hurt in some way by my predecessor's actions. Everyone is entitled to work in an environment free from harassment and intimidation. But he denied that Spacey's behavior was common knowledge at the theater. These allegations have been a shock and disturbing surprise to many of us, he said. It is incorrect, unfair and irresponsible to say that everybody knew. Eight people claimed that Spacey had duly harassed House of Cards employees during his time on the set, including one who he allegedly duly assaulted. In response, Netflix severed all ties with Spacey, sacking him from House of Cards in the process. British police are currently investigating an allegation of UAL assault made against Spacey. An alleged victim claimed that after being invited to Spacey's London home for a drink in 2008, he passed out and woke to find the star performing oral on him. This was not the only allegation to be made after Rep's story was made public. A man on the east coast of the U.S. said that Spacey repeatedly had with him when he was 14, adding, he tried to rape me. Filmmaker Tony Montana also accused Spacey of having Uli assaulted him in 2003, saying, he put his hand on my crotch for C and grabbed my whole package. Another alleged victim, Daniel Beale, said that Spacey showed him his penis in public when he was 19, before giving him his £5,000 to buy his silence. He said, it's big, isn't it? He leaned over and tried to pull my hand towards it, Beale told the son. He accused Spacey of grooming. Another man, who did not reveal his name, told the BBC he was left traumatized after waking to find Spacey lying on him, in his underwear, with his arms wrapped around him. The man, who was a teenager at the time, said Spacey's behavior during that weekend was either very stupid or predatory, or maybe a little of both. He added, it seems he was grooming me.